Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. Got another mentalism piece today from Mark Lemon. If you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know I'm a huge fan of Mark Lemon. Done uh, reviews for the stuff he's released independently and then also the stuff that he's released alongside Peter Turner. I like his style. I like the things that he comes up with. I like the way, I like the way he thinks. Uh, today we're gonna look at Chroma. It's a brand new release that he has done in partnership with Murphy's Magic. And you can pick this up from your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer for about 25 bucks. What is Chroma? Chroma is a card that you can put in your wallet only takes up one slot in your wallet. If you're a fan of everyday carries, especially something small that you can take with you everywhere so that, you know, if somebody says, hey, do a magic trick, you're not patting yourself down going, oh, I forgot to bring my sponge balls and my uh, brass bill to tube with me. Because that happens. Um, <laughs> this is just a single card. It's a single card made to look like something you would pick up at a museum gift shop. And it literally looks just like this. It looks just like this. And as you can see, it has colors on it, specifically colors that have to do with the famous Stroop test. So you have 13 colors and you're gonna walk them through a basic task. The Stroop test was something that demonstrated an effect that occurs when there's a mismatch between the name of the color, let's say blue or green or red, and the color that the word is printed in. So again, the word red could be printed in blue ink instead of red ink. And then when asked to name the color of the word, it takes the spectator a little longer and they're more prone to errors when they're checking out whether the ink and the name matches. That was the Stroop test. This takes the premise of the Stroop test and throws it into a magic trick. So you have a card with Stroop test words. So you're gonna give your spectator the option to pick one of 13 different colors. They could pick orange, brown, green, whatever, right? They don't have to look at the colors that are on the card. They could just come up with, you know, their own color because, you know, top 13 colors, it's going to be there. So you give them the card. You say, I want you to pick any color you want. Just pick a color top of your head. You got it. Good. I want you to look back down at the card. Now I want you to find uh, your color written in blue. And they can look on the front of the card or the back of the card. And most of the time it'll be there. You're gonna ask them a few questions, finding their color in a different color. I think three or four times, right? Four times. And then by the end of that, you will know exactly what color they're thinking of. And then from there, you can springboard into any organic effect that you want. You can have that reveal any which way you want. If you wanna just flat out say your color is green, you could do that. You could do, um, have them associate their color with an object. Right? So if, they're, if their color is yellow and you know it, then you could organically say, can you think of a, a fruit that's that color? Now I want you to think of that. And then you could get out a card and you draw a picture of a banana and say, were you thinking of a banana? You were thinking of yellow, right? So you can use this as a springboard. The other way you could use it as a springboard is as the beginning of a three billet routine. So if you're familiar with the three uh, billet routine where you use a one ahead, you know that they're already thinking of yellow. You could write yellow down as your first billet, but then use it as your last question. And so sometimes you need that one, you need, you need that one given, right, that you know for sure. You can use uh, Chroma to give yourself that color. All right, so let's say you pay $25 to your favorite Murphy's Magic Dealer. What are you gonna get? Uh, you're gonna get a little cardboard sleeve, and inside that, you're gonna get the Chroma card. Is it well made? It's gonna feel exactly like um, a phone card or maybe a gift card that you would get for a grocery store or a restaurant. Is it what I thought? Yes and no, yes and no. I knew it had to be self-contained because it's only a single card, right? And I kind of figured it would work like other little EDC cards where you have the spectators answer questions and then you kind of have like a, like a grid and you kind of find the object that they're thinking of by narrowing down choices. I didn't know the exact method, and we'll get to method. The thing I didn't understand was, I saw a phone 
kept popping up in the trailer, and I was like, well, do you need a phone? And even when I did the download, I saw a little phone file for uh, an, an iPhone, and I was like, well, I don't have an iPhone. Can I do this trick? Yes, you can do this trick. Um, it's to your benefit if you have an iPhone, but you don't need the phone to do the trick. You can do this all with memory work. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? You got Mark Lemon. He seated it in a very dark room. Uh, he's a black backdrop with like only a single lamp and a table. You're going to get two files. One file is 34 minutes and the second file is 37 minutes. On the first file, you'll get intro, you'll get history. He gives a lot of crediting to an old Paul Daniels effect. He walks you through the method and then he gives you some examples where the spectator would find this color or this color or this color. And of course, you walk through the test along with him. He gives you a little mnemonic for remembering all the colors in order. He's going to give you some tips. He'll talk about repeat performances if you were to, to do this again. And he says, just remember that this won't work on a person who's colorblind. Second video, he talks to you about how to do the reveals. Because let's say your color is green. You know, if you just say your color is green, that seems matter of fact, right? It seems like maybe you just memorized the, the card. And he gives you some other outcomes, including using this as a one ahead. I did mention that you will get an iOS shortcut you're going to install this on an iPhone. So if you have an iPhone, there's a cheat. There's a cheat around the math that's involved and uh, the memory work, but you will still need to memorize the questions. You could build your own app for Android if you were to purchase Tasker. Tasker is a $3.50 app, but you would have to put in all the uh, data yourself. Pocket space fits right in your wallet, single card. It's not going to bend or fold. It's going to last you forever, right? Angles wise, there's no angles to this. You could literally hand it to the spectator. So yes, they can inspect it, they can hold it. To them, it's just gonna look like a card that has Stroop test words on the front and back. There's no other glaring, like, well, what are these numbers for? What's this grid for? What's the... There's nothing on there like that. There's nothing on the card that would tip them off as to how it's done. Slides and difficulty level, let's talk. Um, math, <laughs> this trick is done with math. And so I know uh, you've heard me say a million times, I hate math. I don't like tricks that, that deal with math and I, and I don't. I am terrible at math. Second thing I should say is this will not work unless you are looking at the spectator. Sometimes in mentalism, we like to turn aside. We say, you know, you're going to fill this out and I'm going to turn aside or I'm going to put a blindfold on or I'm going to do this over the phone. You cannot do that. You need to be watching the spectator. You need to be watching the card. You need to be watching all their orientation. Okay, so I just wanna keep everything honest and upfront, okay? Positives, this is a great EDC, fits in your wallet, and you can do this anytime, anywhere. And it's a great tool that you can either use as a straightforward revelation or use it as a springboard to something else. Negatives, math, <laughs> did not like the math. But is it worth your money? It's 25 bucks. $25 for a trick that you can do anytime, anywhere, that uses simple math <laughs> that you can keep in your wallet, take with you anywhere. Uh, yeah, it's great. And plus, you're getting an hour's worth of teaching from Mark Lemon. Can't beat that with a stick, right? And you can pick it up from your very favorite Murphy's Magic dealer for $25. Thanks to Mark Lemon and thanks to Murphy's Magic. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, do you want some more information about the t-shirt I was wearing in today's video? Sure. From my homepage, if you look up at the top, you'll see one of the tabs says store. If you click that, that'll take you to my Teespring merchandise. There, you'll see that I have a variety of different designs. Uh, there's more than one, so it's not just the shirt I was wearing today. And they're also at a large variety of price points, so there's something for everybody. Plus, if you click on a design that you like or that you're interested in, you'll also notice that you can select that shirt in different colors. So you're not locked into the color uh, that you see in the graphic. And that means, of course, you can buy the same design in several colors. Now, I don't ask that you buy a shirt. You don't have to. That is not uh, how I ask that you support me. But if you do buy a shirt, I want to thank you so much for supporting my channel, for believing in me. You guys are awesome. Uh, my fans are great. And I love it when you guys send pictures or you tag me on Instagram and you say, I bought a Magic Orthodoxy shirt. Uh, you, you have no idea how, how great that makes me feel and just uh, what, what a lift that is in my day. You guys are awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye.